Hello guys and welcome to this Android team video. You guys know what I'm talking about since you already read the title of this video. It is about Tron team for Android. Before I jump to the tutorial, a quick note I want to add is I don't really like watching super long video. So my, uh, I'm limiting my video for around 15, maybe 11 if I can. Because of that, if you have any particular problem that you have about this team, I give you the navigation for this video that is include the preparation of the file, Nova settings, UCCW settings, and lastly, the most common problem that you may have in the process. Again, in this video, I do want to give you the most easy way, but the most easy way is still not easy for some people, for not for everybody. But after saying that, it's time to start. First off, if you look at the description, you will have a Dropbox link that you can download. It is free, even though I want to make money probably using AdLink. I get annoyed by those. So I just give you that free link so you can download and share with your friend. You don't have to wait 5 seconds to click continue. After you download the files in the description, you should have around 6 items. The first one is background, home PNG, home 2, home 3, transparent icon just in case, and Tron home 2 uzip file. This one, just copy, and then go to your internal storage, and just paste here. Let's see, paste. Shoot there. Tron UI UCCW and here is the file and also uh, custom font you really need to create a new folders just type it fonts and then fonts where is fonts okay just paste your favorite font and there you have it all right this is the second part it is about nova settings you can follow this video i will talk about it slowly so just press the nova settings we go to desktop and first one is desktop grid you set it rows 5 uh, no 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 column 5 and rows 7 okay with margin none hack margin none go to hmm scroll fact i like tablet but you can use whatever scroll fact you want wallpaper scrolling okay infinite scrolling check that go down go to advance widget overlap and this one overlap when placing go back and then goes to dark and check that and you are done you are done you just need to remove this into three page and that is the part of nova settings all right this is the part of you setting up the uccw first is let's clean up a bit After you done that, you just have the three screen with first one with Google search bar and the other two is zero. So after that, you press widget, go to UCCW and choose whatever size you want. And this is the UCCW 3.1 beta, I think. Let's see. Yeah. UCC version new one there is a plus and a minus let me tell you the minus first it is super very new so you need to add new template it's not before you just jump in and create and then save this one you have to save first before creating make this size 5757 five, seven. and then click done 
then you go choose background this one set to image this one set to whatever file location you want I am using Dropbox right now you can use file commander and whatever you place that file let's choose home one after doing that you are done you just click back and back yes do not press home press back twice and then press this and you will get this some sort of transparent black square just ignore that just delete this for the first time and then go again to widget uccw whatever size and then click that widget and then you go here resize and then just resize it and you are done with page one and I forgot to mention you should have just changed the background so um, let's see settings um, personalization and choose wallpaper and choose album this one Alright, I found out the problem about the tiny gap. You actually need to change the dimension here. Dimension, you type 570 to 900. This is the one of the pain that the new UCCW have. You cannot press dimension according to picture. You have to input this manually. And so, it is done. It is very precise and very fit. One last thing to add is add another static text. This is one also a painful thing to do in new UCCW. Press text and then just press OK and then go to static text. This one you should just type, um, let's see, main component. press done and then go to the bottom press font and this is the thing that you can do with the font this is the plus one side you can you you have a variety amount of font you can use or you can just use SD card font and shoot there this one uh, the font that I use opens sans um, I use EXO regular it's nice and then go to color change to white and you can see there is the text this is also the all right we have minus minus plus and then this is another minus you don't have a faster movement for the position so you have to press uh, one time a bit and you are done don't forget to click save every time you cannot just see the updated version in the home uh, if you press the home screen button and tada it updated a few seconds but there is main component and Let's let's just set up all the home screen first.
Alright, I'm done and boom. Updated. Just like that. Mm, you can increase the size of the text, object text, and then size. Add that to another 50. It's up to you. Um, what I mean is that that is the basic if you want to change anything and you want to tweak anything I don't just show it you in the video just just use that probably the one that I give you the backup is the center one home number two because home number two have a very much object you have a battery widget you have um, clock widget I mean text, battery, and all other stuff. So I will be giving you and provide you with that. And just like that, this is your home screen. But the problem is, it's very, very, mm, you can say, blank. So this is also a common problem because you are filling all the screen with widget. You need to have another blank screen to add your action let's choose app drawer and then okay let's see choose here and then move it here don't worry about the background because of the page number there you go you can hide this edit and add transparent icon uh, I like it here there's a line here I used to place location but I just don't like it and I don't really use GPS that much there's also three line here I used to have message mail and miss call but the widget didn't update very well and well one last thing to add is a hotspot Let's go to, let's see, UCC W hotspot, the white lock, and place it there. There you go, and then you press it. Now you have a complete uh, press proof widget, but you also have a hotspot for this, I think, clock. I used to have hotspot here for location. Uh, see it launch maps okay this this one around around here so there you go and just add your apps So there you have it, this is my Tron Team UI and this is my home screen, this is my main component, home screen and favorite and the best part is you can access each page quickly enough so that you don't have to, um, oh I want to use Dropbox, swipe swipe and then press, it's already in my review video, so because of that infinite scrolling. This is another plus sign of the new UCCW to create a widget because you fill the whole screen with widget you really need to add an extra page press widget again UCCW and alt size if you already copy your widget just press open uzip and you don't really need uccw output anymore just search um, tron ui uccw and there you have it tron home to use it and override just press that and there you have it just resize and should work I also learned this new thing, so learn something new every day.
and the last finishing touch is that you lock your desktop lock this go to nova settings desktop and then lock desktop that's it for this video i hope you like it and i'll see you in the next video